This is our 1941 Chevrolet Special Deluxe, uh, which was originally supplied to the South African Air Force back in uh, 1941 um, and spent most of its life in service. You'll see uh, that it is a right-hand drive car, uh, which is typical of South Africa, which is a right-hand drive country. And it came over into the UK uh, around uh, two or three years ago. Uh, today is uh, October the 3rd, uh, 2023. Since we've had the car, we've done a ton of work on it to make it into a reliable stove bolt six cylinder Chevrolet special sedan. Unusually for October the sun's shining here in the UK um, which makes for a nice day to show off the car. Um, the paintwork here is passable. Uh, it's in good nick, it, it polishes up well uh, but if you look closely there are uh, some blemishes to the paintwork which is to be expected from a car of this age. Um, there's a debate here as to whether the car is a six-seater car or a five-seater car. The Chevrolet advertising of the time said they were five seats but as you can see there's a very large bench sheet in the front uh, which you could quite easily get three people across and in the back uh, there is an equally large uh, bench seat which again you could get um, six people across there's my wife's hair clip uh, an ashtray because that's what you did in in those days you did some smoking and um, there's some armrests and uh, something to uh, strap your legs into. Uh, so the, one of the very nice features of this car is these Springbok uh, door uh, winder, sorry window winder, um, which are everywhere actually, they're all over the car um, uh, and this was uh, uh, part of the Royal Air Force well, sorry, the, the Air Force insignia for the time, um, which again shows that it's a South African Air Force car. Here's an old uh, service sticker. Here on the dashboard, we've got fuel, temperature, discharge, charge. We've had no end of games with that. And um, uh, uh, there we've got oil pressure. A very accurate and spot on uh, which we've tested against um, a GPS uh, speedometer uh, showing 95,738 miles no idea whether that's original mileage or not um, in the middle factory fit Chevrolet radio which uh, currently isn't wired in um, uh, it's beyond my electrical skills and uh, a rare electric Chevrolet clock, uh, which again isn't wired in, but I have no reason to think that it's not working. Uh, mirror, uh, nice uh, reflectors here, which, which actually you do need when you drive it. Um, in here there's a interior light for all your activities in the back. And again, the Springbok um, uh, uh, door handles. Under this mat here, uh, you can access via that rubber bung a um, uh, the master cylinder for the brakes. We know that well. Um, the seat does move backwards and forwards. We do have a handle for it, but it's the wrong one. Um, and uh, uh, if uh, the new purchaser will need to purchase one of those handles from the States. Um, there is the 
bodywork panel and you can see that that says uh, built in South Africa by General Motors South Africa. The boot is very uh, capacious and uh, we've fitted uh, a boot lining that we bought from Halfords. The jack won't come with the car, uh, but the spare uh, brake parts will, the spare wheel will come with the car. Um, it could possibly do with some lining on the back seat there to make it look uh, just a little bit better. Uh, all the lights work, left hand, right hand indicators, brake lights, stainless steel exhaust. Um, and it's a clip boot lid that works very well. Registered OX713 and the registration comes with the car of course. Uh, we've installed uh, these Firestone white walls which were mind-bendingly expensive um, including tubes, new tubes, um, uh, over 1300 quid um, to uh, put, put these uh, new tyres on. Lights, it's on a six volt system. Uh, they're surprisingly bright actually for uh, a six volt system. Uh, left and right indicator works on the car. Uh, the aerial is superfluous to requirements at the moment because the radio doesn't work. Uh, we've done a load of fettling to uh, these windscreen wipers. Uh, and, and now they work-ish. Um, they work on vacuum. Uh, you see that knob in there, uh, that one in there. You turn that knob, that in, uh, turns the vacuum on. And if you're lucky, the windscreen wipers uh, sort of fire into life. Um, but because they're on a vacuum, you do actually have to decelerate. Um, uh, so the uh, vacuum is created and the wipers work. Um, if you're accelerating hard, no wiping. So the bonnet catch is uh, just here. And uh, that flips this uh, rather elegant bonnet that gives you access to the six cylinder Chevrolet stove bolt motor. Uh, the bonnet does stay up by itself, but um, we've commissioned this rather uh, nice stick that in a moment of weakness I painted black. Um, and uh, that just holds the bonnet far enough up for you to properly be able to work on the car. Internally, uh, it's had relatively modern um, and uh, new coil, 6 volt coil. Uh, we've had the distributor to bits, um, new plugs, um, uh, we've labelled everything so uh, that um, you know where it all is. Uh, on, on the left here uh, there's a new old stock regulator, we had no end of problems with the charging um, and that was eventually fixed by a new old stock regulator uh, that came in from Holland. Um, we fitted a fuel filter uh, just for good practice. Uh, fuel is pumped uh, from the crankcase as, as is always the way on uh, Chevrolet stove bolts uh, but via uh, uh, this pump, uh, uh, mechanical pump down here which again we've had off and uh, given a good fettle um, and but we've had no problems with the uh, starter motor which is I think a Delco Reme starter motor uh, and uh, that really is that side of the engine. Um, the uh, gears, three on the tree, uh, run from here. Um, uh, we've had to tighten that up um, and, and that's all being greased so that works nicely. Uh, good fan, no issues with cooling whatsoever. Uh, radiator probably is uh, relatively new. It's certainly not original to the car um, uh, but uh, no leaks, um, good radiator hose um, and actually it, it works really really well. Um, coming around the other side, good 6 volt battery, we installed the uh, cutout, it's, I think it's always good practice to have a good cutout. Um, the um, 
six cylinder uh, exhaust manifold you'll see has uh, got a relatively new gasket sealant on uh, that's all recently uh, come off um, from the side of the car or the side of the engine and has been uh, reattached there were loads of little uh, leaks when we bought the car um, uh, those have all now disappeared with uh, proper uh, and we cleaned it all up and made sure all the surfaces were grime free and uh, fitted them um, uh, new gasket and uh, new gaskets and new sealant and Bob's your uncle um, this is a Carter W1 uh, carburetor I can get very boring and technical about these but uh, uh, we've had this fully apart uh, properly serviced it uh, and put it back together again and now it runs like a good one um, and down here you'll see it's a little bit difficult to see but um, there is a new piece of exhaust that runs off to the back um, uh, and that um, uh, when we bought the car that was actually hanging off that manifold um, and, and there was uh, really no exhaust to speak of at all uh, but uh, now the exhaust is good and uh, 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 sorted and works well uh, you'll see everything's been freshly greased I spent hours trying to get all the South African mud off the uh, underside of the car um, there was just tons and tons of it built up over many many years by the look of it uh, this dynamo has been off and has been fully fettled uh, taken it right to bits, sort of cleaned it all out, and re re rebuilt it, put it back again and now it charges uh, really well. I guess um, it'd be a good time to start the thing so uh, here, here we go. It has run already this morning so I can pull it out of the garage so it shouldn't be a problem. Normally you need some choke um, which is that one there. Uh, uh, that one is um, a, an accelerator knob, uh, throttle knob, uh, that allows you to uh, adjust the uh, running, uh, the speed that the engine is running at. At the moment, that's not connected up. Uh, this knob here, uh, I'll, I'll show you later, but uh, it allows you to have some air. Anyway, you turn the key on, and you'll see uh, we've got a fuel t full tank of fuel, which is very unusual for us. I always depress the clutch. Um, uh, you'll see it's quite warm already. Um, and there we go, straight into charge. Uh, that's the three on the tree here, which is currently in reverse, which is no good. Now we're in neutral. So, I don't know whether you can hear that on the video, but a bit cold. Now these six cylinder stove bolts run like a sewing machine. They are just fantastic. It's not the um, most economical of cars. I think you probably get about 15 miles to the gallon out of it. Um, but it sounds beautiful at the back. A real lovely burble. Better than sex, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. So we're selling the car with um, a, a spare set of uh, wheels, um, which I purchased uh, just in case I needed a spare set of wheels. I had a thought that uh, um, I might uh, bling some wheels up, um, but I haven't got around to that and decided to go back to 
1930 Chevrolet rather than a 41 one, uh, which is the reason why this is for sale. This here is a vacuum pump. Um, I don't know really what that would have been for. Um, possibly a servo, but I, I just don't know. Um, uh, it's not hooked up at the moment and if it were hooked up it would be turned on by this uh, switch here which is clearly a, an aftermarket switch um, so but I just don't know what it would have been used for um, there's no evidence of a servo on the hydraulic brakes or anything like that maybe it was there to beef the windscreen wipers up um, which is entirely possible although I don't think it would have rained a great deal in uh, South Africa uh, you may be able to see the exhaust a little better from this angle uh, anyway conscious uh, of the vast quantities of fuel that uh, it revs really well it'll cruise at around 50 to 55 um, we've had 65 out of it it feels fine at 65 I wouldn't want to take it much above 65 I don't think maybe 70 um, but it's certainly going very quickly or feels to be going very quickly at 70 miles an hour just coming back to that lever that I showed you earlier uh, that, that is down here and you push that and it opens that flap on the front get out and show you um, uh, so you can see that flap there um, and that allows you a free flow of air um, and it's got a bug guard um, whilst you're driving along in the nice warm sun that we have today uh, but you probably wouldn't want it on open on a cold day